Hello everyone. So this video I will be explaining you how many ATPs exactly you are going to get from ketone body oxidation. So during fasting conditions, starvation, low carbohydrate and high fat diet, so I already explained you in my previous videos how the ketone bodies are synthesized. You can watch the video, watch my ketone body synthesis video in the link which is appearing right now in the upper right corner. And also I have explained to you how the peripheral tissues will use ketone bodies. So ketone body utilization by the peripheral tissues which are coming from the liver. That process also I have explained in my previous video. Link for that video is appearing right now on the right corner. Now let me explain to you how, exa how many exact number of ATPs that you are going to get from 3-hydroxybutyrate and acetoacetate molecules. So individually let's calculate how many molecules you get. So consider 3-hydroxybutyrate getting into your skeletal muscle. So how many ATPs it's going to give you? So 3-hydroxybutyrate in the skeletal muscle is converted to acetoacetate where NAD is getting in and NADH plus H plus released and that NADH plus H plus will give you 2.5 ATP there. Now that's the 2.5 ATP gain there. Now you got acetoacetate. Acetoacetate is converted to acetoacetyl-CoA during this time. A TCA cycle intermediate succinyl-CoA is used and converted to succinate. So succinate gets back into TCA cycle and the TCA cycle can continue there. Now during this time acetoacetyl-CoA broken down into two molecules of acetyl-CoA and each molecule of acetyl-CoA can get into TCA cycle and will give you 10 ATP each. So 10 ATP from one acetyl coa here, 10 ATP from another acetyl coa molecule. So let's calculate total how many acetyl coas you have produced. You have produced 2.5 ATP here, 10 ATP here, and 10 ATP here from beta oxidation. But you need to note that succinyl coa, which is a TCA cycle intermediate. So as it is going into succinate formation, it means you are losing one ATP in TCA cycle because succinyl coa into succinate so that is worth one ATP in TCA cycle because succinyl coa into succinate it is done by succinate thiokinase enzyme you are going to produce one GTP there in TCA cycle now that you are not producing because you are using coa here and converting succinyl coa into succinate without making any GTP it means there is a loss of one ATP there so that means you have to write to minus 1 ATP. So there is minus 1 ATP there. So it means total from 3 hydroxybutyrate going into 2 acetyl CoA and they will getting into TCA cycle. So we have produced 2.5 ATP initially. This is 2.5 here. And then 10 ATP from one, one acetyl CoA, another 10 ATP from another acetyl CoA molecule. And then there is minus 1 ATP there because succinyl coa is converted to succinate so total you are going to get 21.5 ATPs this is what is the total net gain of ATP from beta hydroxybutyrate 22.5 minus 1 so that is 21.5 this is the number of ATPs that you get from oxidation of 3 hydroxybutyrate molecule Okay, now let's calculate how many molecules of ATPs you get from oxidation of only acetoacetate. Consider your tissue has taken only acetoacetate just for clarity. I'm just going to take out all these molecules here. So you have just acetoacetate there. Now the acetoacetate is converted to acetoacetyl CoA, same process, succinyl CoA converted to succinate. One ATP is consumed, basically you are not getting it, so it means it is kind, kind of you consumed one ATP there. Now acetyl CoA into two acetyl CoA molecules, each of them will give 10, 10 ATPs. It means you are going to get 20 ATPs, but you have to take out one ATP from there. It means net gain of ATP here will be 19 ATPs. So ATPs from oxidation of acetoacetate is 19. So whereas ATP from oxidation of 3-hydroxybutyrate is 21.5. Acetone is a volatile molecule so you don't really use that. So it is just exhaled in the breath. So these are the net number of ATPs that you get from oxidation of ketone bodies in the peripheral tissues. So peripheral tissues will get these ATPs and they will survive 
under fasting conditions, starvation and during low carb, high fat diet. Okay, this is all about it. Thanks for watching. See you in my next video.